Hey, I'd like to show you how easy it is to get this uh, web app, uh, Day Back Online, running in WebDirect. So I've already logged in and I've set this up under administrator settings. I've pointed at my FileMaker server and you can see that's a server of ours in Los Angeles and there's the file that's got my events in it. So it's showing um, events from this uh, dayback.fmp12 file. So let's say that I want to take this display, which is already working, and I want to see this in WebDirect. So I can, of course, come right here in a browser, but to do it in WebDirect, I'm going to do it inside a FileMaker Pro file. This is kind of the same approach you'd take if you were going to do this in Go, um, or if you want to do it in Pro and just kind of deliver an in-context experience. If you want people to work in your FileMaker file or in your WebDirect session instead of working in a web browser, you begin the same way. So the way we begin is we just copy this URL here, and I'm opening up another FileMaker Pro file that I have hosted on a different server, a little server in the office. And I'll show you how to get this running inside this file in Pro, Go, and then we'll open it up in WebDirect. So first thing I'm going to do is make a new layout for it. So we're going to pull the header and the footer from the layout. And then we're going to add a simple web viewer. And the URL for the web viewer is just the URL for Dayback. Um, I like to do a couple of things to the, uh, to the web viewer. First of all, I want to make it the size of the layout. And then I'm going to grab the inspector and just change a few things here. Under position, I want to make it resizes all the way across. And under appearance, I want to turn off the lines and then turn off the rounded corners. That'll get us pretty close to having a full screen web viewer experience. So you can see when I go into browse mode here, it wants us to you know, sign in, which is great. But you can see I still have a little corn, uh, line around the outside. And that is because I didn't change the padding. This is down here, so turn the padding off. And if we go into browse mode, then we'll see that we have this little area across the bottom, this white area. And the way to get rid of that is that's actually in the web viewer itself. It's the status message bar. So you can turn off the progress bar too, but I like to turn off the status message. So now when we go into browse mode, now it's a full screen experience. So let's sign in. Excuse me while I do this. Click uh, remember me. So now we're going to be working with the same data that we were working in in a browser inside a web viewer in FileMaker. And I don't, I don't think that's really a, a, a shock to anybody. That's pretty cool. Now remember this FileMaker file that we're using, we'll hide uh, the other one. This doesn't necessarily have to be the same FileMaker file where your data is coming from. If you're using the separation model, it can be a different file. Or in our case, if we just have a simpler version for uh, WebDirect or a simpler version for FileMaker Go, this can be that file also but it's communicating out to your Dayback Online account and through that to your FileMaker server. And because of that, it's pretty fast. So as I move uh, events around here, you can see it works really well. I can see the details of the event, change statuses, all sorts of stuff. Um, really cool. Okay, so what does this look like in, uh, in WebDirect? So this file is already hosted in WebDirect. Let me get my browser back here. And let's take a look at that. So that's over here, and I think it is, yeah, that's the address of our server. So these are the, the files I have up on WebDirect. And let's pick this one. And this is some other layout that I just used to test stuff. So let's switch over to our Dayback layout. And boom, we're looking at those events in WebDirect. And what's cool about this is that it's still, because it's communicating directly with your FileMaker server and getting this uh, interface through from Dayback servers, even though this is running in WebDirect, it's very fast and feels like using a regular web app. It does not feel like using WebDirect where you have a lot of kind of page refreshes. It just feels like running something super smooth and clean and uh, I really, really like it. And again, we set that web viewer up to, uh, to expand and resize, so it's gonna do that in WebDirect too. It takes a few more seconds to resize in WebDirect, but things happening within the window happen very fast, and I, I think you'll really dig it. Um, thanks for checking it out.